So, uh, so you went to England this past uh, May. <laughs> yeah. Last time you were here, you were talking about it. How how did everything go out there? Oh my God, it was fantastic. Um, being in England in general is just so magical, and then um, being in other places besides London, like more north, was also really fantastic. The folk music scene over there is huge, and it was just nice to have um, to, nice to have ears to play to, actually. So. It's great, yeah. So it was it it's the sole trip was just to go out there and play shows, whatever show came about, or did you have stuff planned already? We had a couple stuff planned. Um, a lot of times, my um, my manager Eli, who's in Ghost Trains, he um, he had just a bunch of stuff planned. Just kind of it just happened spontaneously. So there were certain things that we had to do, but a lot of times it was like, okay, well we're gonna randomly record or we're gonna randomly go and do like this BBC sessions and like Stoke on Trent and it was just like, you know, we weren't planned for that. So it, was, it was really shocking. It's like, oh my God, playing BBC? Oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, it's huge. It was crazy, you know. That's awesome. So the, the music scene, that, uh, of the music scene out there, I'm guessing people are just, they go out and just try to they, open ears out Mm-hmm, there. definitely. They will sit and they will listen to you and they will tell you how they feel about you. And it's nice. really nice and it's all very constructive, um, but they are very honest. So nice. it's very cool. Learned a lot, so. I'm like, that was great, my love. Yeah, it's like, you did a great job, mate, you know. <laughs> What else are you playing? That's awesome. Yeah. Did, did any uh, mosh pits break out? In any oh, ha of course. <laughs> of course. Crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really good. And then where, when you were there, like, did anything inspire you, you know? Did you see anything that was like, wow, like, you know, just moved you or anything? But I'm sure a lot of things, but mm -hmm. what's one thing that maybe stood out from the whole trip that, you know, just really hit home for you? Um, most, there was this one moment when, um, it was it was the sky and it was like this painting and you're in the it's in Utoxeter which is just basically just it's on this huge track course a uh, huge track um, field and um, and it was the combination with the sky and the people and everyone actively listening to um, artists and it was just all these tents everywhere it was kind of like their version of uh, acoustic Coachella so it was just a bunch of people and there was uh, everyone was just drinking and and just singing along and clapping and just being so in the moment. Nothing else mattered. It was like as if we were in our own little world. And that kind of, I, there was a moment where I just stopped and I looked around and it was just like, oh my God, everyone is listening to this incredible music and this beautiful countryside. And, and that was really inspiring. Sweet, that, that was, I mean, that's awesome because it's just natural, you know. Yeah. It's a natural thing. It's nothing money can buy. No, it isn't. It's really awesome. The sky and the people. Mm -hmm. Everybody just clapping. Yeah. It's everyone. like your heartbeat, right? Were, were you on stage when that happened or were you just there? I was listening. No, I was okay. listening, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you play at that festival? Yeah, I did. I played a couple times at that festival and it was, it was, or it was, it was, we, um, there were certain times that I had to play, but then a lot of times they were just like, play this way, go here, go here, go to the stage. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. And it was like, yeah. So you just run around with your guitar. Yeah, <laughs> literally. And then people would like follow you. So it's like you played one stage and then they'd be like, okay, go play in the, this other stage. And we, it'd be me and, and Marissa. And, and we would walk, um, we'd walk and there'd be people like following us and just like following us to each stage. It was so dope. It was like, yeah. you look behind you and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> it was so like me. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. They were actually listening. Yeah. That's, that's really what I mean. And that's the only thing musicians really want is yeah. just someone to listen. And it's nice when people have open ears and they're willing to just sit and just, you know. To lend us their ears. Yeah, for exactly. And they're not up getting drinks, you know. They get drinks real quick and then they go to your stage and they, like, sit and listen. And it's like, wow. And they like to drink out there. Oh, they do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The side does. It was awesome. Did you try any beer that, that's not out here out there that's, like, or do you drink? I tried cider. cider. Uh, yeah, I tried cider a lot. I, lo I like the cider. It was, it was... <laughs> It was, that was a fun time. <laughs> it was just old, um, this place at the, it was a leopard, and it was like a haunted pub in Stoke-on-Trent, and they, um, and there were these like folk artists, these old men, this guy was wearing like a, like a hearing aid, like he couldn't really hear very well, but he was like playing and singing, and there was an accordion, and these guys on the spoons, and it was just like, I was like, what is going on? It was so amazing. 
gym. Yeah, I was like, I was just staring, like, oh, I can't believe this is happening right now. And the ceiling was so low, you know, so it was like, it was really cool. Cool. Yeah. I got to make sure when I take a trip out there to, to get a few places I got to visit from here and stuff. That you were at. Yeah, definitely. yeah, definitely. And, and uh, beautiful people too. Very nice. So when you were out there, you know, now that recording is so mobile and stuff, did you get the inspiration to record anything, or did you record anything, or did you have something planned out there? Before? I didn't have anything planned to record out there actually. And then one day, well, at the the bar, the guy's like, "We should just go and record tomorrow morning." And I'm like, "What?" Mm -hmm. Like ten in the or nine in the morning, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I was like, "Oh yeah, dude, for sure. Let's." do this and I'm like oh my god oh my god so we went to this um, Tim Ellis who's in Ghost Scenes as well he's like one of the um, lead singers he was like all right so we went to this studio and it was like crazy it was old it was an old building and you had to take off the door to get inside and then put the door back on it was really it was really old and very grungy but it did have the he was amazing and the setup was awesome it was like perfect for what I wanted it to sound like if I were to and and it was just on one track and there was no n there was no we maybe did it like twice or something and then it was all on one track there was nothing mixed really there was nothing on it just completely raw which is cool and um yeah <laughs> just one mic is just on one mic yeah it was just well there was two there was one um in front of me and then there's one on the side and because I s scream not sing but scream so loud they have to like I have to like every time I'm singing I have to yeah. like turn my head to the away. It was funny. Like, Don't scream into my mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, and they're just like the, mic, the, the mics are the babies. Yeah, exactly. And then put the distortion and I was just like, Oh my god, I can't believe my voice does that. <laughs> I'm embarrassing. But see it, it's a it's a big voice. You have a very big voice. If you just haven't seen Weather, go to Weather the Music, she's a little girl with a mm -hmm. big voice. Very <laughs> big voice and it's it's amazing that, you know, that that music is still living and the, or the organic feel, like I told you last time, is just, just really cool with everything. Thank and you. And, uh, so since you've been home, you know, what did, did England make you look at things a different way here in the LA music scene or oh, yeah. change any point of view? Yeah, like, um, I came I came back really actually quite depressed and I didn't actually, I played guitar, but I didn't actually go out and do much because I was sort of sad about leaving and, um, and how different it is in America to be a singer-songwriter and to not have a huge orchestra band behind you and you're on stage by yourself trying to be everywhere at once and it, it was kind of like okay well I mean I'm gonna really focus on I focus a lot on doing more open mics I wanted to get a, a solid point of view I wanted to sit and listen to someone else I wanted to be um, in the moment I didn't want to have a crowd I didn't want to have anyone looking at me I just wanted to just be there and play and get honest feedback and not have to worry about so much so that's what England kind of made me feel like it made me feel like I, I need to listen I need to want to be in the midst with fellow singer songwriters and not be separated from them which I was for a, a long time I felt like so it was nice it, it really humbled me and put me down on the ground almost and just be like okay let, you know just we listen to you you listen to us let's collaborate let's be honest let's be artists so. It's, it's really cool. And just real quick, we got a new station at cool. 11, so you listen to KBCM Los Angeles, 95.1, and we got Weather Live in the studio, playing some new tunes and talking about our trip to England. So, like you were saying, uh, that, that that's really good. That it, it did. That seems like it did humble you, and you know, made you appreciate, I guess, the music more. Mm -hmm. You know, because out here in LA, it's more like. Uh, you go play and then you leave, or you mm -hmm. know, you're not really there to see anybody, or nobody's there to see you. Yeah, you exactly, know. exactly. That's and, how it was. And stuff like I told you that one time, like, how do you get up there and just play by yourself? And you say, you know what, I can write all the other times, and it's 30 minutes that I can just, you know, let go, let go and, and be me. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really amazing, and that's good that, you know, traveling, I believe, really does expand your mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Definitely as an artist, too. Yeah, that's and did did um like did a song come out? Did you write anything about England when you were out there, or was it? Um, yeah, like I wrote a couple songs that I have um, that I haven't recorded or can ever play because it's not <laughs> ready yet. But but um but yeah, a lot of stuff and and I've really been focusing on the blues a lot more lately. So that's just my whole spiel. I did write one song that I might be playing so that I wrote in England. Cool. Yeah, so I'm. Right. Yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> and, um, do you, do you plan on returning? Like, do you have anything set up? Uh, if so, when you know, do you plan on returning to? 
Um, hopefully in, um, well, my manager, oh, he's getting married in April, so we hopefully we get to go, um, to go see him get married or whatever, and, but we are planning on doing a tour there in, um, May and June, just spending like a month, and hopefully playing with, um, opening up again for ghost trains and stuff, and, um, and that's what's in the works right now, so, fingers crossed, I want to go back really badly. Nice, yeah. Keep your fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Maybe if you're out there, you can go catch her a few shows, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm sure all that info will be on her website at weatheredmusic.com. So you, you, you're working on an EP now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming in that. What, what can you tell us about it? What can we expect out of it? Is it some new weather? Is it a little bit of old school with some new weather? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, I, I mean, I feel like it's, uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit more bluesy, a little bit more focused, and not so, not so um, nature oriented. I felt like the last time it was very like random. You know, it was just. It, and this is way more focused on love, actually, and experience. So I experience with other people in you know being in that motion, and that is what I feel like it's on. It's a little bit of liberation. It's a little bit of love. It's a, little, it's a lot of heartbreak, and, um, and that's kind of what it's mostly like about this time. Heartbreak is what rock and roll is all about. I know, right? <laughs> My friend told me was, man, rock and roll is all about losing love, uh -huh. and then hip hop's all about trying to get yeah, exactly, not get love. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> like and a blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to bring in that that, that little hip hop. I know. Track. I will. I will do it. Got a <laughs> hip hop track, guys. <laughs> <laughs> might be the dubstep mix, too, so, um, <laughs> 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 no. Do you have any uh, shows coming up uh, in the L.A. area or anywhere around here? Um, I have a show October 2nd at the other door with my friend Christian, um, third half, who's actually here, too, and uh, my other good friend, Jenna Watt, and we're going to be sharing the stage, doing a roundabout singing sort of deal. So we're doing, like, when it starts at 9. Nine. Get there at nine or ten or whatever. <laughs> but um, but um, it should be really fun. I'm very excited. Um, I, I can't wait to play with them and see everyone and just you know do the damn thing. It's called the, the other door. Uh -huh. It's called the other door. Is that in Los Angeles or Burbank Boulevard in North Hollywood? Burbank. Oh, so it's you Christmas. heard that, guys. I know the Valley people are listening. So. <laughs> Stop on by. You don't one have to hop on the freeway. One zero four three seven mm -hmm. Burbank Boulevard. <laughs> what was that, Jessica? One zero four three seven Burbank Boulevard. One zero four three seven Burbank Boulevard. Make sure to stop on by October second. Uh, doors are at eight, and fans are going on at nine. So nine. So mm -hmm. Try to get there early. Have some drinks. And yeah. Chill out mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. listen to great <laughs> music. And uh, is there a cover or is yeah, it free? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every one more free, free, free music, free music, free music. Yep. All you guys that miss Napster, go watch some free music. <laughs> it's free. You don't have to download anything. Just mm -hmm. drive down Burbank and you'll be good to go. And uh, so, what what else is in the future for weather besides the EP? You know, what, what's going on in the world? Of well, right now, <coughs> um, there's a cancer documentary that just came out. Um, but well, is it is coming out soon, um, and that's hopefully going to be in Sundance. And I wrote a song a long time ago called Revolution, and it is actually in one of the end credit songs for the documentary, which is big. There's like Melissa Etheridge in it, um, the Cyrus, Billy Cyrus's families in it, and a bunch of um, really high-profile doctors and stuff. And so they're trying to um, create that documentary for um, cancer awareness, but more or less what is causing cancer for people. So that's really a big deal. Um, it's there's become a revolution dot com, which is a um, which is a website about natural remedies and basically standing up for your rights as a as a person. And um, so that is uh, one aspect that I'm working on. And then um, writing a song for this new um, film that's hopefully going to be done in um, October, and it's called Chasing Shakespeare. And I'm writing a score for that, and just basically writing a lot of stuff for movies and um, documentaries awesome. and such. Mm -hmm. So expanding into the, the, the movie. Yeah, the reading a lot of really awesome scripts, and then you know being able to write was really cool. I feel like. So. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into some more music, and then we'll come back and, and collaborate a little bit on that. And, uh